Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. It's a smart thing to ask for advice when making big decisions. But we are even wiser to seek advice from those who have proven their love for God. Sometimes we mistakenly believe that because we asked for advice and even followed the advice given to us, that God is pleased with our due diligence and will bless our decisions. When it comes to advice, we must remember three important truths. Number one, we are responsible to God for our choices, regardless of whether we received advice or not. Number two, our choices must never contradict the truth or morality of God's word. Number three, only seek advice from those who agree with the first two statements. If we are seeking advice from those who have no love for God, then we can't expect their advice to be in unity with God's word. Not all advice is good advice. Your first choice when making big decisions is not the decision itself, but rather who you will go to for advice. Don't just choose your friends as your advisors, but rather surround yourself with a variety of advisors that can offer a different perspective on life and your decisions. You'd be wise to include godly family members, godly friends, godly church leaders, but most importantly, God himself. Make sure you bathe all advice received in prayer before making your decision. Don't replace God with your advisors, but choose advisors who will point you toward God.